Well, so our motto at the IETF is we believe in rough consensus and running code. Okay, um, and the rough consensus is a political part where, you know, it's about a decision making of how do we make uh, decisions. And it's pretty well understood in our organization. The side of running code, which is to say, it's not done until someone's actually made it work. Okay, um, you must run the experiment, you must try it out. And we're not going to proceed to standard until people have actually tried it out. Um, is really important part of the ITF. And in the 80s and 90s, there were a lot of students, a lot of universities um, that just for fun implemented things and told people how it went. And in the beginning of the dot com boom, you know, of now 17 or something years ago, dot coms actually did this as well. They implemented code and see how it went, and they told the ITF, and they came and they participated. And that's not happening right now. Um, majority of the people at this meeting are have left the realm of writing code. And the people who'd write the code aren't here because they don't have money to get here. Um, and the people who would like to write the code, in some cases, don't have the funding to be able to do that. So the question is, who is going to essentially uh, fund the innovation for the next generation um, and how is it going to happen? And one of the big problems is that, for instance, universities now want to, want to extract patent and licensing fees and all this kind of stuff. Whereas 30 years ago, it just give it away. It wasn't really clear that it had any value. And so now, even though their stuff might be crap and no one would license it, no one can see it. No one knows if it's good or not, right? And so that's, a, that's I say, a big concern. It's not clear where the IETF goes from now, now because a lot of our, our one of our half of our tenants is, is really weak these days.